It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Top Out Brewery in Edinburgh in Scotland. And this is a can of their triple lemon sour. Described as lemon, zest, grass and thyme. Each beer from Top Out Brewery has the mountain... That's the, that's the kind of mountain walk. This is the terrain on the can. But on a personal level, I think... When they were designing this can on the computer, it probably looked great. But they probably had a load of labels printed off and you know, it hasn't quite kind of worked out. I don't think. You can't really see too much of the terrain. Um, the top up logo is not great. But you still got that example, that terrain. You've got the start of the walk there and then you make your way up to the top. 1,155 metres. 4.2% uh, ABV. 440 milliliter can. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. I'd like to thank, whoa, loads of smoke on that can opening. I would like to thank Top Out Brewery for sending me this wonderful beer. Oh, have a listen to this. Where's the microphone on this iPhone? Amazing, isn't it? We're standing here, like, st started my beer reviews in January 2010 uh, with a Nokia N95 mobile phone. And here I am, 12 years later, using an iPhone to do exactly the same thing. I've gone through all of the camcorders, JVC camcorders, Panasonic camcorders, uh, mirrorless cameras, and... Here we are on an iPhone. Probably need to improve the sound a little bit, but for me, the picture quality is unreal. It's unreal. None of that mirrorless camera problems we had a few months ago where we couldn't get the beer to focus. Look at this iPhone. Bang! Straight in. Focused. Isn't that an, an unbelievable? But anyway, looking at the beer, wants to create... A rather large head. There's no widget in the bottom of this glass or an etched bottom glass. We've got a three finger white head that is dissipating. It's not dissipating as fast as I probably would have liked for a sour beer. Sour beers generally, you know, the head disappears really quickly on them. This is hanging about a bit. Um, nice amounts of carbonation. Golden amber coloured beer. Let's get the aroma. It smells really good though. I have a, another slight fear. That's, that's two slight fears now. And my other slight fear is that they've used the zestiness of the lemon to Try and create the sour flavour. I'd prefer it with the whole kind of lactobacillus and kind of the, the real craft way of sour and a beer. But we'll find out. We will definitely find out. It's very lemony in the aroma. Let's dive into this one. Gonna take a couple of sips of this. Um, because I do have friends at the brewery, Michael, who I brewed a beer with myself. Um, I brewed a beer with Top Up Brewery. Uh, here's the beer we brewed, it's Simon Saison. Uh, it was a mixed berry Saison. I brewed with them. 5.1% ABV, ABV, it was about three, three or four years ago. So I have friends at the brewery, um, but I'm pretty sure my friends at the brewery would, would much prefer it if I was completely honest with their beer, rather than kind of skirt around the edges and be a bit vague with it. I'm always honest. 
it's my integrity it's why people watch so i'm gonna be honest with this beer but i want a couple more sips just to make sure I just feel that they've used the lemon zest to give you that. Oh, oh, you know, it's really sour. And I, I, I do, unfortunately, I do see that as, I think cheating's a bit of a, too much of a kind of, it's too much of a strong word to use. Maybe bending the rules slightly to try and make people think that this is a sour beer a lot of people who drink this beer will i mean if they're if they're new to craft beer they will take it that it's a sour beer but for me it needs more it really does it needs more it needs what gave it away for me there was a couple of things that gave it away the head retention the head retention was too much. It was looking too much like an ale. When you add, when you brew with the kind of the lactobacillus and the, that's another way of sour in a beer. Well, they, they, they change the malt from tasting sweet to tasting sour. Um, the head, it dissipates very, very quickly. When I saw that head retention, there was a couple of alarm bells that were going off. And then when I read the can again, uh, triple lemon sour and then get any aroma it was very very lemony and it was gonna you're gonna get a natural sourness from the lemon but that doesn't necessarily mean or in my eyes anyway it doesn't mean that this is like an authentic sour beer like that goes mariage parfait up there which is just bonkers that's 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 a a, a proper sour beer but it's nice it's tasty, it's refreshing, it's drinkable. It's very Moorish. I like, I've always liked kind of cloudy lemonade, you know, full on flavours. So I like the beer. I'm not saying I don't like it. I just don't feel like it's, a, it's an authentic sour beer for, for, for me. So I'm going to hold the can up, let it focus. If you want to pause the video while that's focused, you can have a little read at your own discretion. Um, from the can art to the beer itself, disappointing from Top Out Brewery. I know. They can do a lot better than this because I've tasted their beers and they are incredible. They're, <clears throat> this is the only beer in years that I've had from them that I'm slightly unsure about. For me, it's a 5 out of 10. It's a 5 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.